Dido was watching Aeneas and his men on the beach, busily getting their ships ready to leave Carthage. At last, Dido knew Aeneas was really leaving. There was nothing she could do or say to stop him. You traitor! How dare you leave me? Does our love mean nothing to you? You're mad to put out to sea in the dead of winter. And what about me? Crying bitterly, Dido decided to kill herself and ordered her slaves to cut wood and build a huge funeral pyre. Then she herself climbed up to the top and put there all the things in the palace which belonged to Aeneas. I will burn all this. Yes, even our marriage bed on the day he leaves me. On the night before Aeneas was planning to sail away, he fell asleep, exhausted. Almost immediately, Mercury appeared to him and warned him to sail away while he still could. After Mercury departed, Aeneas woke up and ordered the ships to sail at once. At dawn, Dido looked out from her window and saw all the Trojan ships disappearing on the northern horizon. At first she thought of sending her own ships to follow them, but the Trojans had too good a start, and she knew her own fleet would never catch them now. Instead, she cursed Aeneas and all his descendants, calling on the gods to avenge her betrayal. Crying loudly, she climbed to the top of the pyre, unsheathed a sword, and, with one final groan, fell forward onto the blade.